have to use the axe to get in. Or how about they just come and unlock the door for us? Yo, right, everybody, we are here today taking a look at a little upcoming banger by the name of Raging Bites. Now, this one I'm thoroughly excited for because, number one, it is going to be a zombie game, which you know your boy is all about. But more importantly, it's also going to be single player focused and very, very cool looking pixel art style, which you guys know I'm a sucker for as it is. The combat itself, however, it's going to be very different than what you're used to, but I like it a lot. I don't want to spoil it just yet. I mean, I can't spoil it. I can't show it to you right now. But what I've seen from the trailer looked very intriguing. So I'm kind of very excited to you know, see it for myself and test it out to see if it actually translates well enough from the trailer over to here in the gameplay. So without further ado. Where am I? I was in a car accident. I wonder how long it's been. I should call a nurse. Something tells me there's no nurse coming for you, Ben. No one's answering. What's going on? Uh, still nothing. Oh. Oh, I feel dizzy. I have to get someone. It's a pretty interesting hospital you're in. See a bunch of rats over there feasting on some... I don't know. Okay. Story number one, Ominous Ward. It is rather ominous now, isn't it? You know what I'm getting a vibe from this already? On the floor? Seriously? Yes! Oh my god, and... Hold up. And this police badge found in the hospital floor. You would think they would take good care of something so important. Yo, I was about to say, you know what I'm getting vibes about this? The Walking Dead? You know, when, like, Rick works, uh, wakes up for the first time, and, like, you know, he's, like, in that hospital alone, and, like, you know, he's just like, what the hell's happening? Oh, look at the, over there! Do not open! Dead inside? It's a digital calendar. April 20, 1978. Okay, now that's an interesting year. Wait, April 20? Ah, <laughs> you missed a day. You missed a day. You can't 420 it up. It's been 28 days since my accident. Alright, so first and foremost, number one, 78. I'll take it, you know why? Because like a lot of these like throwback games are always in the 80s. Like everything's in the 80s, you know? Like, oh, back in the 80s, so... This is kind of close, sure, but at least it's 70, so we can still call it 70s. There's flowers in a photo in a dress, so look at the flowers. Hey, they're dead. Surely I could have at least put them into the trash. Look at the photo. It's a photo of my wife and daughter. It's been seven years since the divorce. My pal Gordon must have brought it over to my place. And I guess the other thing I also should have mentioned, 28 days in particular. He's been out, which, you know, we have 28 days later, the movie. So, yeah, I'm getting all these little references here and there. Here's my stuff. Gordon must have brought it all for me. Yeah. Good guy, Gordon. Just kind of left it here in the opening with the bag open. What a considerate guy, this Gordon. Spare clothes, too. Do not open? Huh. I can hear something. Is that groaning? Hey, is someone in there? What the? I can't be good. A blackout? I can still kind of see things with the emergency lights. What in the world happened here? <laughs> I love how he's just backing away. Still staring at the door. It's very realistic. I think a lot of people would do that. Either way, I need to find a nurse, a nurse or a doctor. Okay. So for now, let's keep moving. Let's see if there's anything we can interact with here. Don't think an elevator's gonna be working, huh, without the power? Yeah. Elevator's not working. Hey, there's a map of the hospital. This is the fourth floor. Nurse's station, nurse's station, second floor. 
It's emergency stairs that way. Stairs won't be easy in my condition. Oh, what did I do to deserve this? Oh, so is that the reason why we can't run? Because he's injured? Okay, so that makes sense. I was going to say, like, you know, why can't we run? I'm over here walking, it's like a little slow pace, but he was in a car accident, so I guess that would explain it. Good. At least there's like an actual reason, right? I don't think I'm going <laughs> to open that door. I'm good. There it is, the nurse's station. Oh, so he can run when he wants to. Then again, he did run to that map, right? No one's here either. No way. There could be someone in the back. You really think that? I mean, I highly doubt it. Any notes here? Nurse's Diary, all dreamwalking... All dreamwalking corpse syndrome. Patients are to be disposed of, but that runs contrary to the ethics of her job. The doctors decided to give them an anesthesia and wrap them in bags. Body bags. While that raises ethical issues, there are no better options at present. I worry that I might get bitten when giving anesthesia. It troubles me how long this is going to last. Dreamwalking corpse syndrome is what they're calling it here, huh? Okay. I like it. Create your own little, you know, lore for it. Perfectly fine. This looks like a doctor's note. Early symptoms include zoning out. As the infection worsens, patients begin to attack and bite non-infected humans. As the infection spreads via biting, the disease has been suitably named. Zoning out madness bite infectious erosion. Gee, I wonder what happens if we were to remove the first letter from each of those words. The infection spreads through biting. Oh, there's some kind of drug included here. What is it? Serum. Serum is a crucial item to restore HP. Once obtained, it can be used in menu and in battle. Looks important. Besides, what in the world happened while I was out cold? Uh-oh. Oh, we about to find out. Someone there? We don't even have a weapon. Oh, yo, that body bag was, you know, leaned on the wall before. The body bag fell over. Don't do it, dog. Don't do it. What in tarnation? Are they alive in there? Did they be infected? What the? They're, they're all alive. Oh, that is creepy. Yo, dude, you got a book. You got a book, dog. What in the world's going on here? Is anyone around to tell me? Are they all infected? Would they attack me if they're not in body bags? This is all nuts. I gotta get out of here. I'd feel a little safer if I had a gun. Is there anything around I could use as a weapon? See, I started off as a, a particular voice, but like now that um he said what intonation, I feel like I'm starting to lean a little bit towards uh, giving him like a southern accent for whatever reason. Apparently to me, tarnation is a southern thing. Looks like a die written by a kid. Everyone in from my room got trapped on the fourth floor. Everyone's hurt. I preferred it in my room. This bite doesn't hurt at all, so I hope I can go home soon. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, boyo. I guess it's a fire hose. I'm gonna see. I'm trying to see if we can find like a fa fire axe. Could that be it? That or it's a fire extinguisher. I mean, you could probably like, use it to bash somebody's head in. Here we go. Let me borrow this. Yo, let's go. Been equipped with fire axe. It's not a gun, but it's better than nothing. It certainly makes me feel more at ease. Okay. It's a poster of the president. He has the support of the people due to his backing of space programs. Would that be Reagan? Could be Reagan. It's a little bit before my time. You know, I say I'm a boomer all the time, sure, but okay, that, that was a bit before my time, alright? The Saturn Project can land on the moon. It made the whole town go wild. Alright, and we're out. So does that mean... We're about to get froggy out of here. Oh, yo! We even have a, t a city to explore and everything? You gotta be kidding me, that's street two? There it is. Okay. We've been building up to it. Someone over there. What a relief. Hey, you there! Um... I woke up in the hospital earlier and found a town like this. 
I have no idea what's... What's the matter? Are you hurt? I mean, I'm pretty sure there's an aching in that body, but nothing that we can cure. What the? It's not a person. And here should be the combat. So this is going to be very intriguing. This is what I saw in the trailer, and I, I liked it a lot, especially the zombie design. We have no weapon for range, obviously. We're not in a range right now for melee attacks, so we have to either get closer or have them clip closer. So meanwhile, we can toss stones. And we shall. Enemies will close distance at the end of each turn in an attempt to attack at close range. Note that some enemies have ways of attacking from afar, of course, because you always need a spitter zombie in these games, you know? You always need one. So once again, he's still not in range. This is getting very... You see how good the zombie design is still? Like, it's actually very creepy. Especially as they approach the screen. So now we're in range, and he's in range too, so what happens here? HP cost 35% down. Ah. Oh. So why are we losing HP here? So we lost HP. You successfully knocked the enemy back, however you also took some damage from the enemy's backlash. Okay, so it's kind of like, you know, strategy RPG. You know, like say for instance you engage somebody, they have a chance to either counterattack, or if you walk by somebody, they have a chance to engage you. Okay, I gotcha. So you want me to restore my HP? I mean, I don't think we need a serum for that, we're so good. I'm just gonna toss a stone at this dude. I'll save my serums. Okay. I liked it already. I'm gonna be honest with you, I like it already. I saw it in a trailer and now that I've actually done it myself, I'm like, alright, this is cool. I can get used to this little, uh, turn-based combat. Man, am I glad I found a weapon. What happened? Oh, more zombies? Ugh. The commotion must have attracted more. Seem to be fewer over there. Probably for the best. Now mind you, this is a demo that we're checking out. I'm not entirely sure how long this demo goes for, but, uh, you know, just keep us a bit of a heads up. I'm not sure when we're to suddenly end. Hopefully it's enough for us to do a full, nice little juicy video on, though. Dashing consumes stamina. Stamina is displayed as the gauge above the... Yeah, yeah. And nothing through there. Alright, let's go through... Little... Bloody alley through here. We have like nice little smooth transitions and everything too. So once you're inside of a place, it just kind of rolls over to the inside from the outside with the roof and everything. It's a gun shop. I'm saved. Oh, all right. What is this one? This is going to be a Resident Evil 2. Kendo's uh, gun shop. Was it Kendo? I think it was Kendo. Did they hear me? So there's going to also be an element of stealth. You don't necessarily have to engage every zombie. Oh, I guess they can't see me because it's so dim in here. I could really do with a gun. I try to take a look around without being noticed. Alright. So, zombie symbols. Coming into contact with a zombie in the world initiates a battle. The most zombies have a exclamation mark above their heads when they notice and chase the player. A zombie in the world sometimes includes multiple zombies. Yeah, no kidding. They're good guns, but they're of no use. What does that mean? They're good guns, but they're of no use. I'm sure this place has been has seen better days. Right, let's have you walk through there. Great. Handgun bullets. Up, 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 up. This seems to be the only usable one. Yeah. A Goretta. 73. Alright, gun bros, you tell me about this Goretta, because I don't know a damn thing about it. It should take some bullets with me. I should take some bullets with me. It's all over, I've run out. I gotta use them carefully. Are we gonna get like a, a forced tutorial battle with the gun? No, surprisingly not. Let's go, let's go. So let's avoid it. Collapse zombies. There are collapse zombies in the world, some possess items, which you already got. Yeah, already got it. Uh oh. So here we might have to do a little bit of dashing. Joint encounters. If a zombie with an exclamation mark above it in the area when the player comes in contact with them, they will also join the battle. Be cautious as could become dangerously outnumbered. There's still many of them. But at least uh, I got a gun. 
I should be so much safer with this. A drugstore. I'll head over there. Oh, easy. Easy. So right now all these guys spot me, obviously. So, means that they all could get an engaging combat with me if we run into one of them. So, oof. That is pretty baller right there. Handgun bullets. Probably check out some of these things then, huh? Only the vehicle was worth uh, looking through, right? That was rough going. What's with the spray paint? I saw someone in the front of the shop too. Yeah, that's true. I did notice that. I thought initially it was blood, but it seemed like, you know, not the right color. Probably some kind of gang. How pointless. Unless they're using it to like mark certain like territories. <laughs> not gang wise, but I mean like in terms of like safety. Like this color means there's so and so dangerous there. This color means it's safe. A telephone. That's it, a telephone. Why didn't I think of that sooner? I'll try calling the police station. Oh, I'm sure that'll help. Yeah, you know, policemen, there's like a bunch of, uh, you know, zombies out here. So I thought I'd let you know. Is it already? Increase max HP by five, really? So, let's see, cereal. There's no milk, so it has to be eaten as is. Oh, you monsters. Yeah, so we can't use them here. I guess we might have to like to find like a, a safe location, maybe like a base somewhere that we could call home momentarily. Because here we could use the serum on the fly to heal our HP, but in order to increase our max HP, apparently not. Who is this? Oh, someone picked up. Indeed. <laughs> I like how that's what somebody would say in an emergency situation when the world's falling apart and zombies. Somebody picked up. Indeed. Indeed, I picked up the phone. How can I help you? Oh. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, it's Ben. You know Ben, right? Sorry, but did I speak to the sergeant? Oh, a police officer. So he's calling the police station, I guess. That's the reason why he's saying it's Ben. He imagines it's somebody that should work there probably knows him. Okay, never mind then. Never mind. I take my I take back my facetious comment. So he's calling the police station thinking, well, the boys are there, but they're probably not. This is like some random woman that happens to be sheltered at the police station. Yes, I'm stationed there. Well, you have my condolences. What do you mean? Would you just tell me where you are? Okay. This place is... Hey, what's going on? Well, seems like our indeed woman might be down. Is it like this in... Philosadelphus too? Philosadelphus? The hell is this taking place? No way. It ain't no Philadelphia, that's for sure. Anyway, I have no choice but to head there for now. There should be a highway near that leads to Philo Saldelpos. I need to get to the station and find out what in the world's going on. Okay, so we still have a little bit more gameplay. Is this something I should search? No, it's just a phone. Okay. We're good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Notes. Notes? Yes. Saturn 13 to go to the moon within five years. The president who has taken a positive stance on the Saturn program, which aims to land on the moon and collect samples from the moon's surface, has claimed that its goals will be achieved within five years. People's expectations are rising for our nation to beat the rest of the world in the space race. Do you think this infection might come from space, perhaps? Well, zombies over there just taking in the night. The night view. The night atmosphere. This guy's a little bit fast. Okay, you are actually quite fast. Any looting to be done? Yes, handgun bullets. Remember? Drop bodies might have some loot. Like that. And like you. Alright. Very good. Let's see about coming over through here. Shopping center. Serum. I mean, I'm playing this like a zombie survival, like legitimately, I'm trying to avoid combat and, you know, save my resources and everything. But I do kind of want to test out a battle with a gun. Could this be it? Have I been too loud and lured them towards me? I actually haven't been loud. I've been avoiding everything. Ugh, there's too many for me to take on alone. Over there. Man, all these, you know, subtle Resident Evil things, you know? I 
I can't see that fence lasting very long at all. Oh. Somebody might be signaling this. Is that Morse code? Someone's up there. Rats, it won't open. Yo, you scumbag, you can Morse code me, but you can't open the door? I have to use the axe to get in. Or how about they just come and unlock the door for us? If these zombies get breaked into the fence and we made a hole in the door, it's gonna be problematic. Oh, you scumbags, you do it to me here? This is where you would do it to me. You would do it to me here. The demo version of the game ends here. What salvation or zombies await in Ben's future? Please enjoy the rest of the... Enjoy the rest of the product version, which is not out just yet. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Because if you did... I could see myself coming back to the full version whenever that is out. So let me know in the comments what you think about this one. I mean, I'm already digging to be honest with you. As I mentioned, single player focus, story, there's combat, uh, there's progression. I'm liking everything about this. You know, it's not just your typical shooter, looter, zombie survival, multiplayer game, right? So I like them when it has like a bit of a story involved with it. So we'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this one. I will catch you next time.